Chad, you know, when we talk about healthy sexuality, we can't avoid the fact that sometimes girls get pregnant outside of marriage. What are the challenges when a teen finds herself in that situation? You know what, the, the biggest challenge, especially for younger teens, uh, is for them not to abort that baby. They've got to understand that, that uh, regardless of, of, of how this baby was created, God creates uh, every life. He's the author of life. And it's really important for the younger teens uh, to understand that God created this life. Uh, this life is no accident. Um, and to talk realistically with their parents and with counselors um, about what the options are. Um, and, and, and then for, for women who are um, older, um, today we have about two in every five uh, births uh, born to unmarried mothers. And the 20 to 24 year olds, surprisingly, represent the largest, um, largest percentage there. And the 18 and below represent the smallest, or one of the smaller percentages, about seven or eight percent. That is really interesting. Tell me a little bit about what contributed to those lower teen numbers. You know what, I, I think, um, I, I believe that a large part of this is just uh, culture and school embracing the idea, uh, just more recently, of, of having an abstinent lifestyle. And I think it's, a lot of it is the backlash of what they saw from the hookup culture, um, from the casual sex thing, the, kind of the, the tsunami that hit um, from their parents' generation. They, they figured out, you know what, copying my parents' model isn't necessarily going to work. And I think uh, a lot of the parents could tell them the same thing, but they, maybe they weren't ready to listen to them yet. Um, but now we're seeing uh, them start to realize, wait a minute, I think there's gotta be more.